Marian Tudoran and uh, M A R I A N T U D O R A N. I'm the third mate on board, um, safety officer, and uh, I, I'm in charge of some of the trainings, um, including uh, the initial onboard orientation for scientists, as well as uh, firefighting, as well as uh, fast rescue boat training. And uh, if someone falls in the water, then I'm also the boat officer, so I go get them or anything having to do with landing craft operations or work boat operations, I'm also the coxswain for that. Have you had to do that? Nobody has fallen overboard, no, but we have done beach landings, we have done small boat operations, yes. The first uh, job they offered me was actually for an AB position here. Um, and at first, you know, they I, they called me up and, and offered me the AB position, and I said, no, you know, I'm really going for the third mate. And about took me about two minutes of processing time for me to call him back and say, you know what, I I want an A B position. You're going you're going to the Arctic. I want to go with you. So don't say no to work. My first trip on board consisted of me joining the ship in Nome, Alaska, first time to Alaska, first time, much less Nome, which is pretty remote enough. And then taking a two-hour road trip car ride in pouring rain, two hours north of Teller, which is even more remote than Nome, and then joining the ship by fast rescue boat, getting on the beach and being told to uh, dress out in a, uh, a Mustang survival suit and get in the boat because we were gonna take a ferry ride through like six foot swell and chop to the ship where, you know, a big dude, Bernie Kiernan, picked me up off the boat onto the deck and he's got a big beard with ivory jewelry in it. So I'm looking around like, what am I getting myself into? What about the Sukuliak makes you wanna do anything just to be aboard? Uh, you know, it's, it's the people. Um, the crew is extremely tight knit, and it, it was, it's a culture that's been established um, from the very get go with uh, Mike Hoslick and Adam Siemens, who were uh, previous captains of the Sikuliak, and that's kind of the legacy that, that they, they left. One of the scariest things for me uh, is the idea of being the boat officer. If it's rough outside, and let's say someone like Byrne, who I, you know, he's a dear friend now along with everybody else, falls, falls overboard. You know, we all have families at home on top of the family that we've made for ourselves here. Um, and my nightmare was being at the fast rescue boat ready to go, willing to go, and from the top down, from the captain or somebody else saying, no, you cannot go. That's probably one of the scariest prospects. What sort of science do you like the most? Uh, is it oceanography? Is it sea ice studies? Is it marine mammals? You know, I do like uh, ice operations because it's an icebreaker. Um, so anything to do in the ice would be fantastic. What's it feel like to be aboard the ship plowing through thick ice? What is that? It's like off-roading while on a boat. That's what it. That's what it's like. Vibration um, goes through through the entire ship in the forward uh, stores. The noise is amazing, terribly amazing. Um, crunching and grinding, um, you know, the ship will get up on the ice and you feel it and kind of keel over. It's kind of unnatural for a ship to feel a ship out of the water, but that's what it feels like. When you think about Sapulia, what do you think about? Is it, is it an office? Is it just a workplace? Is it, what, what do you think about? It's home. <laughs>